Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force! Hope you've enjoyed the week off while I was recovering, but, uh, well, now we're back in action and ready to go. Now, la last time we defeated the Dark Sage, which unlocked more arena battles. So, let's head on down here and check them out. So, yeah, it's like right after you beat the Dark Sage, but before you go through the portal... Or, uh, Philia's portal. Sounds vulgar. And you come here, you can fight more arena battles. Beyond the A rank, we have... We have... The S rank! Yes, the ultimate challenge in the game. Not that it's really challenging, but... But anyway, remember... What is, what is a force janitor? Anyway, remember we killed 10 Force Eaters, we got that gem, well, you get that, you bring it here, you can unlock a secret battle! So, let me just uh, show you what you need in order to get that, or to unlock it. There it is, the Sorel Chris gem. Once you've unlocked it, you don't need the gem anymore, so you can just convert it into Force Points, which is what I'm going to do now. And let's put that into my Ragnifacts. So, Give it to the Grand Tame because it can use the attack power. Yeah, level 60 attack there. Oh, by the way, um, since last time I also uh, upgraded my Ragnifacts, uh, all the ones that I have equipped have maximum techs and maximum residence and at least 30 level 30 attack there. So I decided to dump a lot of my force points into the attack power of the Grand Tain because it gets like multi more than one attack power per level up beyond level 30, unlike almost every other ragged effect. So here's my uh, setup for my party. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to have that. I need to get the uh, Grand Ray. There we go. Okay, so anyway, yeah, everything else there, pretty much the same. So let's check out... Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot. I uh, also got uh, a Lion Fangs since last time. I won them from Bolvotes in the uh, Inside Tower 11 and 12 area. So I got more of those. Now we can craft the ultimate armor in the game, the Hero's Cape. Not the more ultimate than ultimate armor, that's later. This is just the ultimate armor. Can't get the more ultimate armor until uh, New Game Plus. So, let's fight our first battle. What the? This isn't a mo Well, okay, maybe he is a monster. But... We're not fighting regular monsters here. For boss time! Finally a challenge. So yeah, we get to fight old bosses now, and they are just as powerful as before, if not more so. So yeah, this is gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I do want to use Berserk, though. So that way I can get the best out of my Earthquakes because it's my most powerful tech that can hit all enemies and still hit their aspect weakness. So yeah, let's go with Earthquake. Looks like a toothpick in your hands. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, Virtus is still as weak as ever. And even though these guys are strong against red aspect, I still want to use the guy's Shockwave because, yeah, it still deals pretty good damage there. And now that I'm using the Necrozoar, uh, let's see, I want to use something that hits all of them. So let's go with mm, Inferno. That should be pretty good. Did she just vomit in the middle of casting that? That's what it sounded like. I love the Axel's voice actor. He sounds so evil. Well, okay, he is, but that's besides the point. This is gonna hurt. I love Viper Steel. It sounds like it really hurts, and it does. Not to mention it pierces defense and he has a low recharge time, or wait time. So, I really like that. Hey, hey, all right. And for winning this battle, we get a Master Gem. All right. 
Not that I really need it, because the only characters who are going to be with me in a New Game Plus are ones that are going to be set to level 1 upon a New Game Plus anyway. So, I'm not really worried about that. But anyway, now that we've done that, I want to show you something else we can do only after defeating the Dark Sage. Once you've uh, done that... Oh, oh, by the way, one thing really critical before going to this place. Do not, do not equip Cecilia with anything or you will live to regret it. Well, you might, but you probably will. So, but anyway, I forget if I showed this off earlier, but... Well, there is a door here that we could have accessed at the beginning of the game. But we couldn't get in there for whatever reason. But now that we've defeated the Dark Sage, we can! This is the Chaos Chamber. Let's take a look at a map of this place here. So anyway, we got all these portals around here. The entrance portal and the exit portal are randomized every time you enter the area. Uh, the map you get depends on which way the vessel is tilting there. All the enemies in this area are really tough endgame level enemies. And they all look the same. Too. So you can't tell what you're going to be fighting until it's too late. I want to try and look out for the exit portal if I can. Can't seem to find it. So Now the first thing we need to do is we want to get this treasure chest. Yeah, you see that guy? He's basically a shapeshifter. He'll shapeshift into whatever enemy he needs to be. So anyway, you want to get the single chest here first, which has endgame level armor. It's really good. If you get into a battle before opening the chest, the chest will disappear. So you gotta get to that chest before running into an enemy. But you gotta... Uh... Oh crap, Cecilia! Oh no. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, in this area you can also fight doppelgangers. Which are basically clones of your party members, except they are immensely stronger and they have your equipment too. So if you equip Cecilia with stuff, she's going to be really, really, really hard to kill. All the other doppelgangers are easy, but Cecilia is a real pain in the ass. So yeah, just keep on using whatever your most powerful techs are at the moment and... If I can, I'd like to try and kill Cecilia, but, well, we'll see what we can do. Now, anyway, when you're running around this area while you're trying to get to the chest, uh, the Illusion Cloak and Peace Mantle will not help you. They don't work in this area, so you can't use those to bypass the enemies. Yeah, that's why Cecilia is so hard, because she heals herself with thousands of HP every round. It's really annoying. Almost got her. Let's go with Dire Assault since I got my HP low enough. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, some other things you uh, might run into here, you just kind of notice those damage spikes there. There's also some red grass that slows down your movement and those ice floors, so it makes it a little tricky to get around this area. But all right, we got Cecilia. I made that look a lot easier than it actually is. She is a real pain in the ass. She'll just keep on healing herself over and over and over again. And if you have equipment on her, God help you. Now anyway, the chest in this area, there's uh, three potential items that you can get from the chest. You leave the area, you come back, you can get another item. Once you've gotten all three items, each subsequent time you go through the area, uh, will the chest will contain a nightmare gem. But, depending on which ending you're on track to get, will determine what map you get, and what the three potential rewards are you can get from that map. So you could do like all the creation treasures first, then run from a bunch of battles, get all the neutral chests, then run from a bunch of battles, and get the destruction chest contents if you wanted to, all in one playthrough. You don't have to beat the game and then do that over again. Oh, gotta wait for that guy to pass me by. There's also different items you can get here in a new game plus. I'll list all these items that you can potentially win in the video description there. But yeah, that's how you get the more ultimate than ultimate armor. But you can't do that until new game plus. 
All right, found the exit portal. Okay, so how do I get out of here? I think I go up through there. <laughs> it's been a while since I've gone through the chaos chamber there. But yeah, we might want to heal up after that one. Yeah, the chaos chamber there, by the way, is the best place in the game to level up because doppelgangers give amazing experience. Let's get out of here and let's fight another battle at the arena there. Now, I do need to fight one more battle because I only fought two in the Chaos Chamber. Maybe I should have fought another one, but whatever. But remember, you gotta fight three battles before you can fight in the arena again. Now, I'm not gonna show every map of the Chaos Chamber right now. I'll show the other ones later. Just know that the map that you saw today is the one for the creation ending. I'll show the other two later. Not right now. But I do want to fight another battle here, so let's do that. I've been sleeping for days. What a coincidence, you haven't been sleeping for days. You viewers have been getting your sleep without my videos, right? You, you, you didn't, like, suffer any severe withdrawal symptoms or anything? For boss time! Finally a challenge. Okay, so, yeah, one thing with this battle is that you got Velvet who can attack twice per round. Fortunately, they have the weak Virtus with them, so... Is it a coincidence that Virtus rhymes with Raditz? I think not! Okay, so, yeah, Inferno ought to be pretty good. I could use Magnitude 8 also, but either or would do. I don't know, maybe one's more powerful than the other. Too bad you couldn't get uh, a tool in your party to fight Velvet. That would have been pretty cool. It'd be like Darth Vader fighting Anakin Skywalker. Well, that wouldn't be a contest. You know what I mean. Yeah, Raphael's still pretty good, even though he his uh, Grand Cane is uh, weak against their aspect. Or not very strong, at least. Oh! Let's see, good aerial cleave on you. Yeah! Good grief! I'm dead. I love it when bosses are like that. They look just like... Useless! Ugh! I'm dead. But, alright, we got another Radiant Headband. That's the strongest headgear that... Or, craftable headgear in the game, but... Well, I like the Beast King Band better. I think the plus 40 attack power is better than having the extra defense there. Okay, so that's everything. Well, yeah, we got a couple more arena battles here. Some more stuff to do in the... Chaos Chamber, and then we'll head on to the final chapter of the game. Next time, let's play Hexes Force. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.